This is another video by SQL Server 2014tutorial.com. Today our topic is uh, uninstallation of Microsoft SQL. So uh, let's look at the agenda. Basically, uh, before we even begin talking about uninstallation, let's let's talk about why would we need to uninstall SQL. So there can be many scenarios. Um, you may have a server. Uh, you know, maybe an older server, let's say it's running SQL Server 2008 and you're upgrading the server, you may need to uninstall it. Um, you may have a situation where maybe something went wrong with the in uh, installation. You know, you put the uh, database on a wrong drive or, uh, you know, any any of the ab above situations. Or sometimes you just have to, uh, you know, uh, uninstall and then install some other version of SQL. So this is a common task that uh, databases, database administrators have to do. Um, so I just wanted to make a really quick video about this. Now uh, let's take a uh, look at the list here. So before uninstallation, you really want to make sure that all of your users and logins are logged, logged out of the database. This is uh, the next part is especially important, especially if it's an older server that all of your logins and the database users, they have been scripted out. There's actually a command uh, uh, stored procedure called SP help rev login that uh, will let you do that. But uh, you can uh, definitely script one user at a time and we'll, we will show you this in a minute, but we're just kind of going over the topics. Uh, another important thing is if you do have, uh, let's say, a lot of SQL Server jobs, alerts, operators, those those sort of things, they need to be backed up and scripted out as well. Um, the next point really should be number one, which is that all of your databases, uh, they need to be backed up. So let's say, um, let's scenario is you may have 2012 running and you are, uh, you know, you're uninstalling. Uh, that version and installing uh, SQL 2014 and you're going to be moving the databases you definitely need to back up all of your databases in case you know the installation un 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 uninstallation and then the installation goes wrong something goes wrong you definitely want to have a co copy and the next step is really optional as far as you know SQL services are stopped uh, during the uninstall SQL will go ahead and stop those anyway but this is again uh, you know if you if you wanted to uh, do this maybe you do have a cluster environment uh, you know window, running on a Windows cluster you may may want to do this first okay so as far as the uninstallation um, we can, you can simply do this from the control panel uh, before we get to that point let me uh, let me go ahead and switch over to my management studio I already have this up and running um, I'm running a named instance on this machine called MS 2014 you can tell that it is uh, SQL 2014 which is version 12.0 um, and I'm logged in as cache so so first things first uh, let's let's take, go ahead and take a look at the database like I said the, you know uh, you want to back up your database first we are already uh, <clears throat> we have just one database here and I believe we um, we I think have a uh, let me just make sure there's nothing in this directory You know, the uninstallation itself is not very complicated, but uh, you just, I think my, my my point here is that you definitely want to do a little bit of planning and, uh, you know, before you do uninstall so that uh, you are ready to go for the next step. So right now I do not have a backup here. I'm going to simply run this command. It just says backup database northwind to disk. So let's go ahead and execute this. This should uh, go fairly fast. All right, so now the database is backed up. If I go to my folder, uh, let me expand this. <coughs> Oops. You can tell this was this was just backed up today, um, May third. Okay, so that's good. Let's uh, let's go back and look at some of the other things. So the database is done. Well, what about the users? Okay, I do not have a lo uh, lot of logins here. But uh, you know, let's say this was one of our critical, this one and maybe this one were our critical logins. You would simply click these, uh, select script login, and do, you know, create to new window. Okay. And so here's here's your uh, here's your script, and I would go ahead and I would just say go ahead and save this as alter server or something like that. Okay. I would do that. Okay. Um, and then same thing here, you can uh, script this, do a create to new window, and this will go ahead and, you know, create the login and 
also you could basically save this uh, all the sql you could also you know put this let's say in a uh, notepad or word document if you wanted to um, <clears throat> The point is that you definitely want to have a copy someplace and then just say, you know, save it as uh, as a file. Okay, so so that's that. Um, I do not have any jobs on this server. This is actually a fairly new um, new server, but uh, you know, if you had other things, you could definitely script them out. Okay, so that's done. I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, switch to control panel. So you just all you do is you go to start control panel. Okay, and then you go to uh, program and features I think I already have have this up and running here somewhere yeah so so here's my uh, control panel programming features I as you can see I'm already running SQL Server 2012 on this but 2014 is the one I would like to uh, remove and before I do that let me uh, I don't think it really matters to have uh, management studio open but let's just uh, do that anyway go ahead and close everything so when you do that uh, you know it's gonna bring up this dialog box that says uh, by the way you can also use this let's say you're trying to add features okay so um, scenario you install the database engine but now you need to install um, I don't know integration services or you're trying to install uh, reporting services you can definitely uh, you know do this you can also repair an installation of something wrong but for our case we're just simply going to remove it so I'm going to remove it or click on it at and it should bring up another um, screen over here after this video we are actually going to create another video in which one I'm actually going to show you the actual uh, installation part I, I figured it's a good idea to um, just highlight some of the steps that are necessary for the uninstall first uh, you know since I'm already uninstalling might as well make a video out of it If this takes too long, I will go ahead and uh, pause the video and come back. But let's uh, let's go ahead and give it uh, give it a few more seconds here. Typically, it comes up fast. All right, so so here we go. Um, now it's basically <clears throat> doing a little bit of. Uh, oop, let's go back. Let me just show you that one screen. So this is essentially it's checking some of the basic rules. Okay, uh, and you, you may have seen this screen before that. Um, when you're when you're running uh, when you're installing SQL, it needs uh, a few you know set up support files. So this is similar in concept. I'm just simply going to hit next. All right, so this is important. Here is a uh, screen which is telling you well what do you want to uninstall? Okay, so we like I said we have a named instance which is running uh, you know MS SQL version 12, which is 2014. By the way, it's always confusing. And then another one is the default instance. This is the one running version 11, which happens to be 2014. You can you can tell that over here, okay? So I don't want to necessarily uninstall um, the 12. I would actually, I just, all I want to do is uninstall 2014, okay? Which again is going to be this first line. So you just make sure you want to select that and then hit next. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then, you know, it's going to bring up features. Like I said, I don't have a lot of things on here. I just have the database engine client tools. You can uh, select features. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and then hit next. It says, please wait. So I'm going to do that. <clears throat> So in a, in a really, I guess, hierarchy manner, it's telling me, you know, what do you have right now? I'm running an eval edition on this machine. Uh, these are the features that will be uninstalled. This is where it was installed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on remove. And I believe this actually, um, this will go ahead and uh, start the uninstallation process. Uh, it can take a, definitely a few minutes. So I think what I'm going to do at this point is just... Uh, uh, really let it run I'm actually going to go ahead and pause the video uh, there's no point in you know you looking at a status bar I guess so 
I'm going to pause this video, I'm going to warm up my coffee and then I shall be back. Alright, so I am back. We are still uninstalling this. Looks like it's almost uh, uninstalled. As you can tell, we're nearing towards the end. Uh, but what I was going to say is one thing you can check for is to see if the actual SQL Server uh, service has stopped. So the way you can do that is you go to uh, Start and then you uh, <coughs> looks like while I did that oh, let me just do this one real quick you can uh, go to the services uh, manager tab okay and uh, the minute I, I clicked somewhere else looks like let's, let's go back real quick so <coughs> so it looks like it says uh, your SQL Server 24 removal completed successfully if you really wanted to see you can uh, you know you can go into this file and you can uh, look up information I'm going to leave this as is but what I was going to show you is in the services tab remember that you know Microsoft SQL Server always runs as, as a service okay you know on the Windows OS system so one way to check that is to come down to um, let's see I missed it I think <clears throat> is to check for SQL Server, right? So now you can tell that the only thing that's running uh, is, the, uh, is the default instance because our instance, which was named MS2014, is not there. So it has been removed successfully. I would go ahead and close this one. And then I guess the final task really is to go to, uh, you know, start all programs and uh, drill down to um, 2014 and you can see there's nothing there um, before you know you would see like obviously you know in 2012 similar to 2012 you'll see management studio you'll see configuration tools data tools and all that jazz but you do not see that so 2014 looks like it was removed and I think that is all we have so essentially essentially what we covered today is we showed you uh, how to uh, uninstall SQL Server 2014 if you if you would like to know more about um, our training and we definitely have some sample videos on our website and also on our YouTube channel uh, check it check it out let me just uh, highlight our website before I wrap up today is running a little bit slow because we are trying to do all these different things but anyway if you if you go to your browser and you type in SQL Server 2014 tutorial.com that will uh, take you to our website and on the website like I mentioned you can definitely uh, look around we you know we have uh, um, some video training we have some SQL scripts and whatnot uh, we are still in the process of completing this initial training today is uh, May 3rd so the training should be up in about a month but uh, that's pretty much all we wanted to wrap up uh, today so thank you for watching the video